The TC Electronic M350 is a digital effects processor. This one's pretty nice because it has two processing engines in it. You can run a delay or an effect at the same time as a reverb. Right now we're just going to do a reverb to keep it simple. So to get started, take your effect balance. We're going to turn it all the way to the right, which is the reverb engine. Turn the bypass off. Turn the digital input off because we're connected via analog. The mix ratio, turn it all the way to wet. That's so you hear the effects coming out of this unit. And then the input gain, just turn that up till you see signal. If the red light comes on, it's too high. So just turn it off, turn it back down a little bit here, or maybe you can adjust your aux in on the console. Second section here, this is the delay effects engine. Three controls for that, plus a switch. For right now, we're gonna leave it off, but you can play around with it. You have different settings over here, different sounds, and a couple parameters like delay time and things like that. But for now, we'll leave it off. Now let's pick a reverb sound. This control here, this is the reverb engine, and just select the kind of sound you want. You'll find like halls, big halls, small halls, rooms, plates, chambers, things like that. And then you have some parameter adjustments over here, and the book will show you uh, how all that stuff works. So just pick something you like, play around with it, and uh, for sure change some of these just to kind of get it to fit into your particular mix. Over here on the right side, you've got a control panel where you can pick presets and things like that. Now for now, we're just using the front panel controls that we showed you to, uh, to pick a reverb sound and maybe change some of the settings on it. If you'd like to, you can pick one of the internal presets that's in memory, and uh, the manual will give you a list of all the different settings and sounds that it has. So you can cursor up or down, pick a preset that you like, and then push load, load it in. For now, we're gonna turn it off and go by the front panel controls.